let's see how we can back up a MySQL database and how we can restore it. First, I'll go inside my MySQL server. And if you have a password, you need to do this. And it will ask for your password and hit enter. But I don't have a password, so yeah, I didn't enter anything. Now, you can do show databases and it will show you a list of databases. So this is the database that I want to back up. So yeah, copy the name of the database, exit from the MySQL server, and now run this command, MySQL dump, dump, and then databases, and write the name of all the databases that you want to debug, sorry, that you want to uh, back up. So yeah, I have only one database, and then user, which you want to, uh, you know, exit this database as, and then P, and then this greater than sign, and then your backup name. And then hit enter. It will ask you for your user's password. Hit enter again. And yeah, after entering the password, enter again. Now if I do LSL, as you can see, the backup is created. And now I can just restore this database. So if I just check the contents of this file, it is nothing but just a bunch of SQL statements. As you can see, first it is creating a database called EatFit and then using EatFit and doing all this stuff. Now, so to restore this, what you can do is simply let's say you want to use the database again. So now I already have EatFit database, so I'll just delete the database. So I will drop database EatFit underscore DB, hit enter. Now if I do show databases, as you can see, the database is not present here. Now how you can use this to recreate the database. So just to SOURC source and then it fit underscore db.sql that is the name of the backup file you had created. Hit enter, uh, enter this and then this semicolon and then hit enter. As you can see database is created and all these queries are executed. So if I do show databases, it fit is already created. Now what if you want to name the database something else? Let's say you want to import the data, but in a database that is called something else. So in that case, what you can do is create a new database. Let's call it uh, create the data database my DB. Hit enter and exit from your MySQL server and open your database file. Database file. So this is my database file. So open it. and just comment this comment or remove these lines so i'll delete this delete this and delete this also so that only tables data and table creation are there save the file and exit it and now let's go inside our mysql server again and let's use our new my db so now as you can see database change is printed that means now we are using this database and now enter this command sources it fit underscore deep dot sql that is the name of our backup file hit enter and as you can see it is now uh, created all these tables so if i do show tables in my currently selected database it will show you all these things that is imported from my backup file that is this file <clears throat> now one thing is so as you can, uh, as you have probably noticed, I'm just doing source and the database file backup name, right? Something like this, and it is working. This is working because I am opening terminal from this folder itself that contains this thing. Otherwise, if you are opening terminal from some other folder path, let's say from here or from here, anywhere else, and your database backup file is not here, it is in some other directory, Instead of doing source and just the file name, you'll have to enter the full path of this. That is slash app slash eatfit underscore db dot sql, that kind of path. Okay. So yeah, this is how you can take backup and then restore backup of my SQL. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.